Hey everybody, this is Sean from Clark Family Gaming. We just came back from vacation and I thought I'd do a little video to let you guys know how it went. So we flew down to Orlando, Florida, and there we rented a car and we drove to our house in Champions Gate neighborhood. There we had our own house with its own pool and we had several different members of my wife's family who had rented houses there. It's time for the family reunion. Next day, we had a picnic. Kids had fun with the water guns. And that night, Shannon and I got to go out to a um, reggae club in Orlando called Rum Jungle. So that was fun. The next day, we had the banquet for the reunion where we had a formal dinner and then it was time to get our groove on. Not me though. A lot of cha-cha and cha-cha sliding going on. I forget it let it slide. Then Fiona and Uncle Justin did karaoke of That's What Friends Are For. And then the reunion was over at that point, so the next day we just relaxed by the pool there in the Champions Gate complex. It's called the Oasis, and they have a lazy river there and a nice little water slide to go down. The next day we headed to Disney World for some fun at the Magic Kingdom, and it was so hot and so humid that you could barely even walk around without like totally passing out of heat exhaustion and the lines were very long we waited in line for space mountain and then it shut down so then at that point all we could really do was get on some of the smaller rides we also got to head over to hollywood studios where again it was really hot and the lines were really long the next day we headed to the epcot center with our cousin we waited most of the day to get on the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And um, we finally got a slot in the Lightning Lane for like 8.15 that night. The ride had broken down earlier in the day and that push kept pushing things back and back. We finally got up to the front of the line. We were just about to get on the ride and guess what? It broke down. Tell them, Shannon. You know what sucks about this? First, you gotta pay at least five hundred dollars to get up in here, plus parking. Then you gotta pay to ride the rides you really wanna ride. Why is this the happiest place on earth? It's like the brokest place on earth. You get what you pay for, but not at Disney. And then when you finally get to the ride, it breaks down. And the worst part about it was we were just sitting there and um, there were no announcements. Nobody told us what was going on. We didn't know if it was going to start back up since the park closes at 9 and we were waiting around. And it was already 8.30 and they weren't going to start the ride up that night when the, again when the park closed at 9. So we just got out of there, did a little shopping and then went to go see the fireworks. So we watched the firework and laser light show. Disneyland is just like your average, like, you know, One theme park. Yes. This is like a bunch. Look, see the heart? This is like an actual, actual, actual country. And then we started our long walk back to the car and our drive back to our house for our last night. The next day we flew home. But wait. Disney had one more surprise in store for us after we got home. I got very sick the first day I came back. And then that night, I tested positive for COVID. I isolated myself and a few days later, Shannon got sick and now she's got COVID. And now we're still recovering. Thanks, Disney. And thank you guys for watching.